Hi there, I am Bruno Albuz. Glad to be back. Today we are going to make a delicious Black Forest cake roll. Puce de Noël Forêt Noire. So first, I am going to make some crumble that will be incorporated later to the crunchy praliné mixture. And that's going to be the base of the cake. So I'm going to process cold and cubed butter, a pinch of salt, sugar, almond meal, and flour. It's not going to take that long if you use your food processor, around 40 seconds or so. Transfer pastry into your work surface, form a ball and roll out into a 3 mm thick sheet and freeze, then cut into small cubes and leave it out to dry and bake for about 25 minutes and set aside. Next, I'm going to show you a new way to making sponge sheets, a super flexible one that won't break. This is an interesting recipe uh, based on pata choux. So I'm going to bring to a bowl milk, butter and a pinch of salt. Meanwhile, I'm going to blend the eggs with the egg yolks and you want to save the egg whites uh, for the meringue. And I'm going to sift the flour and cocoa powder together. Claro que si, papa. This sponge cake is basically a pata choux enlightened with beaten egg whites. Speaking of which, I'm going to start the meringue now and beat on medium speed egg whites with a third of the sugar and a pinch of cream of tartare which is an egg white stabilizer. As soon as the milk and butter boil, I'm going to transfer the hot milk and butter into a large bowl and throw in there the sifted flour and cocoa powder and mix. And unlike pata choux, you don't want to cook the dough over the stove. Blast the speed and add remaining sugar and then incorporate the eggs into the chocolate mixture. And at the same time, I'm going to turn my oven on to uh, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, 240 Celsius. Incorporate one third of this beautiful meringue into the chocolate mixture with the whisk. Then fold the remaining using a rubber spatula. Then spread the sponge butter onto two baking trays lined with greased silicone mat or parchment paper. This recipe calls for one half sheet pan plus a quarter sheet pan or you can use one large 16 by 22 inch sheet tray. Bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit to 40 Celsius for 6 to 7 minutes. Let cool completely and freeze for better handling. Next, and because the Black Forest comes with cherries, we are going to make an awesome cherry marmalade. So you can use professional grade cherry puree such as griot or you can make your own using frozen black cherries. And that's the one I am going to use. Heat them up first with uh, some glucose and blend. Back to the stove, add the sugar and pectin mixture, bring to a boil and cook for two minutes. If you want, you can add a splash of cherry liqueur or kirschwasser. Next, the chantilly ganache monté. So I'm going to bring to a boil half of the heavy cream, 300 grams, with the vanilla and add it to the white chocolate. Blend well, add the softened gelatine and then the remaining but chilled heavy cream. Mix and refrigerate overnight. Now, let's take care of the crunchy praliné. Combine melted chocolate with the hazelnut praliné. Add the feuilletine, which is a crispy confection made from thin sweetened crepes. You can sub it for crushed cornflakes. Throw in there the baked crumble, mix to combine and make a 6 mm thick rectangle. Let it set in a refrigerator or freezer and cut into two large strips that each should match the cake dimensions. Good news, crunchy praliné scraps can be reused. Well, I guess the mise en place is ready to go. To do so, you want to run a spatula all around the edge, top with a greased parchment paper and flip. You can bet it's going to thaw very fast. Gorgeous. Next, I'm going to spread this amazing cherry marmalade. It should be warm though. Spread evenly and freeze for 15 minutes or so. 
Meanwhile, I'm going to whip the chilled vanilla ganache malté on medium high speed, and when it reaches medium firm peaks, the chantilly is done. Spread it evenly over the sponge using a large offset spatula. Make a quarter turn clockwise and roll into a log starting from noon to 6 o'clock. Use a flat tray or any other device to tidy it up. Freeze the log for 4 hours, best overnight before glazing. Speaking of which, we're gonna make it now and that's gonna be a chocolate ganache based glaze. So first, you want to melt the chocolate, just barely melt it. And meanwhile, I'm going to bring to a boil the heavy cream and mix the hot cream gradually into the chocolate. Mix well. When the temperature of the ganache reaches 113 degrees Fahrenheit, 45 Celsius, add the butter and mix using your immersion blender. Then let it cool to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 Celsius. Then you can glaze the frozen log. Sprinkle some cocoa nibs or chocolate pearls, trim off ends and place the log over the crunchy praliné. Whip the remaining chantilly and finish to decorate the yule log. I hope guys you have enjoyed this amazing Black Forest Yule Log. To get the full recipe, go to my website brunoalbuz.com. Please subscribe to my cooking channel and don't forget to sign up to get your free ebook. And by the way, try this out, take a peek and tag me on Instagram at brunoalbuz. Enjoy your holidays, see you soon.